today I got through as many nameless errands as I could in order to come down here. In this particular painting, did what I could to come in and tie some things together, nitpick and assess and poke at things. This one is called Fatherless Bride. The inspiration and the subject matter is probably a little heavier than the way the image comes across, maybe. I notice in my life, growing up a lot of people I know who don't have a conventional mother-father support system growing up. And a lot of the, the women I know seem to suffer from not having finished their relationship with the father. Dad is gone. Dad left when they were three. Dad left when they were twelve. I think people know me most for the tornado paintings because that's what I've done most of. It caught fire a little bit, people buying them, but I just, I loved doing it. I went storm chasing for three years in the 90s. I and mean, at the time, there was no reference material to speak of. Back then, there was some black and white photos at the library, a couple of National Geographic photos. I had to hire someone who was National Geographic affiliated to take me around the Midwest when they were doing research. To me, what's very important that initial grab, the idea that you know people, oh, it's what's on the inside that counts, and this is what attracts you on the outside. I don't like the convenient division of those. I think you can work with something spectacular and impart it with something that gives you staying power. If I had to give advice to other artists, as far as making art and making it and getting some sort of receivership and catching someone's attention, Decide what it is you want to do and try to do that better than anyone else. Look at the gallery, see what's going on, but get to the museums and find work you can look at that go, oh wait, I'm trying to do something that's not all that far away from this one or that one or that one. Compare yourself to the museums and the good big museums. Why am I happy? I'm happy in my life. My girlfriend Linda, who posed for this painting, is uh, is quite a joy, pretty much what's keeping me going. My skill is up to a level that I'm happy with it. You can always be more skillful, but for what I want to do, that comes naturally. I'm not struggling with my execution anymore in my work. The people I know are healthy and around and, and reachable and all doing relatively well. That's what keeps me going.